Hello everybody, welcome back to EFC 24. Today we're going to start off with the Halftime Foundations Pack, 50 Fire Rare Golds, 81 or higher, just for 1k FC points. Oh, I have some items I have to deal with. Okay, 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 sorry, 383s, whatever. We'll just throw those away, we're not really going to use them, ever, I don't think. Um, but in any case, yeah, I'm saving up a bunch of packs. You probably weirded out by just what kind of packs I'm saving, but I will explain that in a little bit. Let's just open up this preview pack first. Don't mind the noise. Okay. Sick. Let's go with that. Alright. In any case, uh, let's go ahead and uh, yeah, let's actually open up this pack now. Um, Halftime Foundations. We will be there. Let's go. So what I got? 1K. Okay, can we at least get a good walkout? Portugal's a good start. Center back is a great finish. Man City, double walkout. 89 double walkout. That's pretty huge, to be fair. Who is the double in this case? Okay, it's Ter Stegen, which is not bad. I like that. All right. Who are the rest of the cards in this uh, good old promo? 88, 86, 86, 85, 84, 44, yep. Uh, any dupe walkouts? So we got an inform right there. Well, we may as well use them. Uh, got plenty of 83s here that we can probably put towards an 85 an 83 times 10 so let's go ahead and do that and be right back okay guys i recycled the 83s that were left over plus the inform to put it towards this 83 times 10 upgrade so let's see if this one gives out now you're probably wondering why i have bronze and silver packs saved um, which i'll show you guys in a bit is that because future stars will feature a lot of silver players and stuff like that the likelihood of you packing uh, future stars with silver cards is very likely. So, it, aside from your 83 times sense, if you're saving up for future stars, that's to say, right? We'll just, just discard all these. If you are saving up for future stars, definitely save a bunch of those silver and bronze packs because some of these players will pop out of these because they're silver and they're bronze players. I don't know about bronze players in per se, but I know silver players are going to be for sure. Some of the ones that are going to be popping up. And also common golds. Common golds are very important as well. Because I heard that Garnacho is going to be in there. Pedro Neto. You know all these players. So do that. And it looks like we're going to get ourselves set the very minimum in 86. Nope. It's going to be Grealish. Great. So we'll just discard these. And let's go ahead and craft ourselves the Icon Player Pick. Because that refreshed today. So be right back. Alrighty guys, we have completed the 87 plus base Thunderstruck or Winter Wildcards player pick. And we're also going to be doing this on the RTG as well, so be on the lookout for that. But we got ourselves this player pick, one of four, 87 pluses. So here we go. Last time we did this, I don't remember who we got. I think it was, um, it was, oh yeah, it was a uh, Cantona. It was a uh, Thunderstruck Cantona. So, will this one give out? We're about to find out. What do we got? Trezeguet, Campbell, okay, ooh, Fernando Torres, okay, so this is really good, actually, this is really good, okay, we might have to do a price check on both Campbell and Fernando Torres, because I'm pretty sure Torres is about 700k or so, um, let me go take a look, so let me see, Fernando Torres, um, hang on, Fernando Torres, where is he, okay, 89, went to wildcard, he's 849k, as for Sol Campbell, uh, Thunderstruck, 460. So the, uh, the choice is clear, right? Fernando Torres. Um, Fernando Torres' uh, Winter Wild card is the clear choice. As you can see here, 850k or so. There's only six of them in the market. That's kind of crazy. Huh. I guess he's pretty rare. Comparatively. I mean, to be fair, like his shooting is amazing. His dribbling is pretty nice. The acceleration with that quick step as well. Uh, quick step plus and rapid. Ooh. A bit of finesse shot. Chip shot. I might actually try him out. I might actually going to have to try him out. See how well he plays. But yep. Let's go ahead and go to the RTG. And let's see where we go from there. Alrighty guys. I am making a sacrifice. Since I ran out of fodder. But Morita. He's unfortunately going to have to go. Uh, since I figured I already had better midfielders anyways uh, for him being a high overall with these stats and stuff like that I don't think there's any way he's gonna be able to climb up so uh, we might have to start from the beginning with Morita but at the end of it all 
that's just what it is man it's all business but here we go guys we completed the 80 uh the 87 plus uh icon player pick and let's see if this one gives out like crazy so let's see what we get hopefully hopefully the sacrifice wasn't in vain so we're about to find out on the rtg if this is well worth it so here we go one of 487 plus what are we saying Shira Sanchez, Fernando Torres again? What? Oh, okay, man. That, okay, that's 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 way too bizarre. I mean, it's the big dub, right? Don't get me wrong, but it's so weird to see Fernando Torres again. Out of this, it's very weird. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it for sure, man. I'm not complaining, but I'm just saying, it's weird. It's dupe theory on both accounts, right? It's the uh, it's the dupe theory on. On a separate dimension, basically. <laughs> oh, man. That's kind of crazy, though. That's kind of insane. But, yeah, same old, same old, same old 800K card. We'll take it. We'll take it. Well, guys, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time. See ya.